Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com, new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 19603 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. Microsoft are back with builds. We didn't have a build last week, but we're back with this build. And it's got a couple of new features that I want to show you, especially if you're interested in the WSL the Linux subsystem for Linux. So that change, so the Windows, Windows subsystem for Linux is... Um, what it says, it's part of Linux built into Windows. It's a subsystem for Windows uh, running Linux. I've, I've chosen to install Ubuntu Linux on here, and I've actually got a separate video showing you how you can install uh, the Linux subsystem. And the, what's new in this is, let's say I go to my desktop there, and if I look, if you look here on File Explorer, uh, I've got a Linux um, icon, and I can go into there, and I can go into there, and I can now browse the file system uh, as if it was a local um, Windows file system and I can move files around and do all the usual stuff in there so it makes integration between the platforms much easier or between the systems much easier and um, especially if you're more f familiar with Windows tools can't get into that one because it's not that's a system file especially if it makes integrate especially if you're more familiar with the Windows way of working uh, you can use a file system and you can use all the usual tools in there and that kind of thing so uh, it makes it much easier to to sort of work between the two and make things uh, synced up so I like that uh, I like that change to the change up here in settings and user uh, clean up user clean up recommendations so this is a um, a tool that will help you free up uh, this space on your device so I can go to clean up recommendations you see that it said there was no action required but I can go and have a look and it's showing you some uh, large files um, not a huge amount on this I keep this device uh, for my testing pretty clean but you can see I've got unused apps. I don't think I've got any unused apps. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we have. I've got a few unused apps. So I could get rid of some unused apps. I could do some syncing. So that means I could use OneDrive to push some files up to the cloud. And I can use this to sort of, sort of recommendations to clean up systems. So it's not going to do it for you, but it's kind of recommended. So you, at least you know what you need to do uh, rather than it just wiping files out on your behalf. The rest of the changes are all uh, fairly minor. Um, they have fixed the issue where it, this build wouldn't install on um, Hyper-V. I had that problem on my other test machine and they fixed that. So I'm going to get that back going on there. Interesting, they're removing the Battle.i anti-cheat software um, as a known issue um, because the you need a new version of Battle.i anti-cheat software. So they're actually removing that. I don't think they specifically fixed it, but they're removing that issue. Um, they have fixed video calling with Microsoft Teams. So quite a few people caught out this last week. You're all using Teams for meetings. And if you were using your insider device, you couldn't do video calls, but they fixed that as now. They fixed an issue with the Windows print screen keyboard shortcut no longer working. Oh, not working when saving pictures. And uh, there's some other things in there. They've fixed uh, f green screen issues when trying to install the update. Um, some uh, disk cleanup estimations were wrong. They fixed some setting crashes. Um, there's still all the usual known issues, uh, narrator, uh, narrator issues. The uh, sticky notes can't be moved on the desktop. Uh, the battery icon. Uh, on the lock screen shows are empty regardless of the actual battery level. I've seen that one myself and they've added one as well um, a known issue quickly switching between uh, distributions of uh, the Linux subsystem in File Explorer could cause a transient access error uh, they're going to have a fix for that uh, soon so those are all the main changes um, so not a huge amount of changes but if you're a Linux subsystem user then this is definitely a big thing for you uh, and it's good to see so thanks for watching this video you can find out more on our YouTube channel I've got a whole range of videos on our YouTube channel how to videos uh, hardware software reviews all sorts so uh, check us out there you can find me on Twitter at iStixon thanks for watching